Hello, I'm Mike Bishop from the University of California, San Francisco, and I'm going to talk with you about cancer, what we presently know about the disease and how we are trying to apply that knowledge. Cancer is the most fearsome of human adversaries. In the United States, as many as one in three individuals will develop the disease and one in four will die of it. It is soon to become the leading cause of death in this country and worldwide, more than 8 million individuals die of cancer every year. We have not been doing well in our struggle against cancer until recently. Consider this comparison. Between 1975 and 2005, cardiovascular, the mortality from cardiovascular disease decreased by 70%, whereas that of cancer decreased by only 7.5%. Numbers of this sort have inspired disappointment and even skepticism among the public and the press witnessed this lead article in Newsweek in 2008. Now we can rationalize our difficulties with cancer. Consider this comparison again. Cardiovascular disease is essentially a single disease of a single organ system with a single cause. Whereas cancer has multiple causes, numerous causes. And every organ system has its own forms of cancer. There are at least 100 discrete forms of human cancer but we have been able to cut through this complexity with a unifying simplification that we call the genetic paradigm of cancer. And that is that all cancer arises from the malfunction of genes. We now know that most if not all cancers have their origin uh, in a single cell. All of the cells in a cancer can uh, have a lineage that can be traced back to one cell that went awry uh, sometime in the past. Now there are subtleties to this that we'll explore a little later, but fundamentally um, this is another testimony to the extra extraordinary durability of the malignant phenotype once it has been established. Let me dramatize uh, that durability with a story that's been widely um, appreciated because of a best-selling book. And that's the story of Henrietta Lacks. In 1951, uh, Mrs. Lacks died of cervical cancer at Johns Hopkins University. Cells from her cancer were put into uh, uh, test tubes and petri dishes and had been propagated ever since. It's estimated that they had been propagated to a, a quantity of at least 20 tons, or others put it this way, uh, more HeLa cells, as they're called, um, now exist than all the visible stars in the universe. This, of course, is a stunning testimony uh, to the stability of the malignant phenotype. Conclusion, the durability of the malignant phenotype clearly suggests a genetic underpinning. 